All right, today's video is sponsored by Dally BMS. It's time to build a battery. Okay, to start this battery build, you are going to need 16 cells. You, it could be 280 amp hours. It could be the 302, the 304, the 314. They're all the same size, right? There's a few of these models that are the exact same size. And there's two versions of these batteries, right? These ones have two holes for two studs. And then these ones are the single studs. So these ones are a little bit better to carry large amounts of current. The surface area is a little bit bigger, and so they can do it and without getting hot, right? So that's the only difference between these two cells. Other than that, they're exact same cell on the bottom. These are premium cells. They're uh, Eve, right? A grade Eve cells. These top of the line. These are about the more expensive, uh, 280 amp hour cells that you can buy in the market. But this because that's the best ones, and that's what we're gonna use today to build this battery pack. Okay, next what you're gonna need is these cells are recommended to be compressed. And every time you use them, they come in some kind of compression, right? So we've made these uh, plates right here that we sell in pairs. And this design right here is made for these two cell configuration, two cell side by side, right? And you can go as many as you want. You can use four. If you use four like this, it'll be 12 volts. If you use uh yeah whatever eight it'll be 24 12 will be 36 and then 16 will be 48 right but these plates work uh to compress cells two cells like this next to each other and we sell them uh jack35.com with the right compression right these are rods that are all threads that you use to compress the cells once you install them in here so you're gonna need a couple of those now these cells right here come with bus bars they're like this this one in particular has two holes because they're the double thread and they come with screws. Now what you do is you put them in here and then you go up the, the way, right? And so some first time battery builders, they get confused and they don't know how to arrange the cells. You know, is it positive here, negative there? Uh, how do you connect those? Does it go this way or that way, right? So for to make things simpler, we have devised uh, a, our own bus bar that is a big PCB board and it's all labeled and it tells you how to arrange these cells, right? So as you can see here, it's got the, the plus, right? The positive, and then this is the negative. And then uh, here's the negative for the next cell, right? It's, which is gonna be the positive over here. And then the positive here, right? So that means the negative is gonna be here. So it goes all the way up like that, right? Even here, like positive, uh, negative, positive, negative, positive. And so you just follow these uh, markings and then that's how you arrange these cells. And then once you're done, you could just put it in here and then just uh, verify that you got it correctly, right? So once you figure that the positives and the negatives are correct, then uh, you will put the, uh, the screws. Now this uh, bus bar can carry about 100 amps continuous without a problem. If you're gonna run your system with more than 100 amps, then I suggest using the bars. If you have these, use them anyways, because why would you not want to use the better connection there is in between, the more efficient that the system's gonna work, right? So then you just put it on top there and uh, it's gonna help the PCB transfer or you know conduct electricity. The board itself can carry 100 amps this bar right here can probably do 200 or 300 amps. So together, these will do like more than you ever need, more than the cell is capable of doing, right? So it'll be a really, really solid battery. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is install your BMS into this uh, compression plate, right? And then, so in order to do that, you have to use like plastic standoffs. There's holes in here that are threaded and you just screw them on there. And then you, once you, you have those in there, you position that in there. Once this is installed in there, now you can install this uh, compression plate in there. Okay, now that we have all our parts ready to go, it's time to start the build montage.
All right, so once you build this battery, uh, now you have this. And now what you have to do is install the Ali BMS right on our plate, right? So what I did was design the holes to put screws in here and just screw it on there. So that's what we did. And then to connect these is super simple. And essentially this unit right here, it's made for 16 cells and 16 cells is what gives you 48 volts. And which means that it has 17 cables. All you have to do is connect the negative on the negative here, it's all labeled right here. And then you go sequentially. You go, the next cable goes connected next, and then the next red one, and then the next red one, all the way. You will have to skip here one because this board was designed to use another BMS that will require you to connect two cables together, right, into the same pins. It was just easier to add an extra pin in there for that extra cable so you didn't have to worry about it. So this is designed to go sequentially for another BMS which makes it for this BMS, you need to skip that one. It's the C8. There's two of them that are labeled a C8. So you just have to use one, connect the C8 cable there, and then just skip the other one and then just go all the way to the end, right? So it's very, very, very simple. This BMS is really, really nice because the hardware is really, really tight and it's really uh, like well-designed, right? So this BMS can do 200 amps which is what these cells are capable of doing. Uh, I think they can do a tiny bit more because these are the 280s, right? And the 280s will do 1C, which means that they could do up to 280 amps. And this one's rated at 200. But 200, it's a nice round number that most people can use. It will power an entire house, right? Uh, if you have just the one uh, battery system like this. This will is about 14 and a half kilowatt hours. Uh, and if you use the bigger cells, you could go all the way 16 kilowatt hours. And then those are rated a little bit lower. So this 60, this 200 amp BMS is uh, rated just perfectly for the, for the bigger ones, right? Uh, also our thing is made so that you can put circuit breaker, which is basically all you would need to have a completed battery system. Like our parts here is so that you can make a bare bones system. You don't, this is all you need to make it work. You can add more like an enclosure and stuff. And we're definitely working on that uh, so that we can make our own version of that. These plates right here are, you know, we're designing them so they're compatible with different types of BMSs, but like including this one, this is the newest one that we've gotten, the DALI BMS. And it's really nice. This one has Bluetooth connectivity. So you can just connect it and set it up uh, and use it uh, remotely. And then also comes with the cables so that you can uh, program it and control it via a, uh, a desktop app, right? So you can do it Bluetooth on a mobile app or you can use a desktop app. So this is a full-fledged BMS. And I want to thank B uh, Dali for sending it to us. And I this is how easy you can build a either 14 point five kilowatt hours all the way to 16 kilowatt hour battery system that can run your entire home. All right, I wanna thank Dali BMS for sending us their unit. And next time, I think next we're gonna try a 12 volt version so that we can use them on our smaller packs. But links, this product is in the description. Okay, we'll see you guys on the next video.